we're back at the uh, Save the Game Store YouTube channel. We are going to be going through things that we picked up this week for the store, TNT Card and Hobby. So, uh, with further ado, we will go forward. The first thing that we'll go through is, I'll actually go through like a little bit of a summary here. So we're going to be going through the magic cards that we picked up. Then we're going to go through uh, the D&D uh, figures that we picked up. That's kind of cool. Some board games, and then we'll have like a uh, new section. But uh, for the new section to be actually useful, you'll have to go down into the comments below and ask questions. We'll have a questions and answer. I thought that'd be kind of fun. So uh, make sure you do that, because uh, that'll be amazing. Ask some questions, and we'll answer them in the uh, Q&A section on every video. We have, uh, yeah, we have something else to go through, too. And then we'll go through the events that are happening for this uh, month, or uh, August, I should say. We will go, and the first uh, card that we picked up for Magic the Gathering is... God, a Tetra. Or God Eternal, a Tetra. Uh, it is a... Uh, we will put the uh, card here, hopefully. And uh, it is a uh, legendary uh, zombie god with double strike. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell... Uh, create a 4-4 uh, black zombie warrior creature token with vigilance. When uh, God of Tetra dies or is be put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner library third from the top. Very cool. And then we have Luminous Broodmaw. Uh, it is a 4-2 uh, and two white uh, creature insect with flying. Uh, whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with flying counter on it. Very cool. Um, I'm going to murder this guy's name, so we'll skip the first part and just go to Magistrate. Uh, he is a uh, two-drop. Uh, one of that has to be white. Uh, he is a creature, human wizard. Your opponent cannot cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. So, uh, shut down their commanders. <laughs> That's a bad one. <laughs> and then we have uh, Zadriel, Archduke of Avernus. I murdered that last one. Sorry about that. Uh, then it is a uh, four. Two of it has to be painted with mountain. Uh, it is a legendary plan planeswalker, Zadriel. Uh, it's plus one. Is creatures you control get uh, plus one, plus zero, and gain haste until end of turn. Zero is... Uh, create a 1-1 one, one red devil creature token with whatever this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. Uh, and then it's next 6 is you get an emblem with at the end of your first combat phase on your turn, untap target creature you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. That's, uh, that's pretty sweet. So, uh, if you like what we're doing, please go ahead and uh, leave comments, uh, subscribe, also, uh, don't forget to like, and uh, we do have a Patreon. The uh, Patreon can be found in the description below. Uh, thank you very much. And we are going to be moving on to the D&D &D minis. So we have a huge selection of D&D uh, &D here at uh, TNT Card and Hobby. Uh, it kind of looks a little like that. Alright, so uh, we'll move on to what we just uh, recently stocked or recently got back in. Uh, or what's new. So we got the Owl Bearers. Yes, they're very, very cool Owl Bearers. Uh, very good in most campaigns that you're going to be playing. Very nice. Uh, then we also have the Dwarven Paladin. It comes with two little minis and they're very cool looking. So I love that. Uh, did we show the back of the owl bear? I don't think we did. So we'll show the back of the owl bear. So that's, that's really kind of a neat little thing right there. Uh, then we got the uh, air robes. Yes, air robes. And uh, they're very neat looking with like the little archer guys. And then we picked up a kind of. Oh, oh here we go. Here's another one. This is a halfling wizard. That's right, halfling wizard. Very cool. He's uh, very nice. I like him a lot. 
Uh, actually, I like a lot of things. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't want really to try to pronounce his name, <laughs> but he's like a little little uh, boss type character or a little creature in like, later levels. Pretty cool. And then of course, we also brought in a uh, young blue dragon. Because who doesn't like dragons in Dungeons and Dragons? It's in the name. It's amazing, right? Very cool, very cool. So that is kind of what we picked up for D&D. &D. Uh, very neat. I hope uh, this will be showing up on the camera, but I'm all by myself again, so it probably won't. <laughs> so there is that. We will be moving on to the board games. Oh, yes, we picked up a couple board games. I did a whole video, but we scrapped it because I didn't like it. So... This is for the, uh, the Zombie Side. So we put in uh, Zombie Side 2nd Edition here. Uh, zombies came from nowhere. They destroyed the world. We used to know a few brave, ordinary people uh, took up arms against this infected horde, survived the roaming cities, looked for supplies, pay back, and the fun of zombies. So it's kind of a nice little uh, party game. Uh, it's a co-op game where you are all together against the board, which is something I could get really behind, because I love co-op games. Uh, we got this one right here, uh, second edition. We also have, uh, Zombie, uh, Side, uh, Invader. Uh, so that's like a futuristic, uh, sci-fi one. Think, I would think, uh, Doom. <laughs> and then we also have the classic... Night of the Living Dead. Uh, so these are these are very neat, very neat. I love I love these. Very cool. And then we picked up uh, Dude Arcus. So uh, Dude Arcus of the uh, Free Man is a brutal cutthroat game about tribes of controlling Arcus. Before the events of the uh, Novel of Dune, each player controls a tribe of uh, Freeman warriors struggling to gather sacred resources of Arcus, developing weapons and uh, for their needs of survival and harnessing the power of sandworms for battle. Will your tribe prevail or will they vanish into the desert? Probably got eaten by the sandworms. <laughs> so uh, this would be the section that we would answer your uh, questions. Uh, in our Q&A, so uh, in the future, let's uh, get down to those comments, let's start asking some questions, because then I can actually start doing this part of the video, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, but, since we have no questions and we have no answers, we're going to be moving on. And then we'll be moving on to the best football game ever! That's right, it's Blood Bowl, it's uh, brutal, it's nasty, and uh, some people might lose their heads. And let's go ahead and just throw that football or head around. That's right. We lose the football, we can use someone else's head. <laughs> so, this is the uh, second edition of this game by uh, DW, Game Workshop. And then we also have, from them, and in the same type of uh, vein, we have Dungeon Bowl. That's right, it's football, it's dungeons, it's everything you love. Including a lot more vicious and uh, vile. <laughs> so uh, these are really cool. <laughs> I really want to play the Dungeon Bowl. That, that looks amazing. And then we also have Horus Heresy for Warhammer. Uh, come in. Uh, we have a couple of these in stock. They're pretty amazing. Uh, so if you have any Warhammer needs, we have you covered here. Uh, we will do a uh, small uh, flyby of our Warhammer stuff right now. Ooh. Very cool, huh? That was pretty awesome. We got paints, we got Citadel, anything that you need. We only have a few other things that we got in. Uh, this is, uh, we got some sleeves in. A ton of sleeves. Uh, we have a lot of sleeves here to choose from. I prefer the Dragon Shield, so that's what I carry because they're very strong. Uh, and we also got it, Killer Buddies! And last, but not least, we have got Rick and Morty Dungeon and Dragon. That's right, everything you like from Dungeons and Dragons turned on its head because, well, Rick's involved. <laughs> alright, alright, so our upcoming events! What is happening here at TNT Card and Hobby? Well, I will tell you. <laughs> 
every Thursday in August, we will be having D&D with Kevin. And those days will be the 4th, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th. Also, we're starting something new in August. We are going to be doing paint days. What is a paint day? Well, that's just uh, come down with your figures and your paints. And uh, we'll all get together. We'll have a good time. And we'll paint our models. And uh, maybe together we can actually make each other better. And the paint days are going to be August 6th and August 20th. Uh, and that will be uh, 6 to close on the uh, paint days. Uh, August 7th is our community game night. Yes, that is the uh, first Sunday of the month. So uh, that will be playing games like, uh, well, maybe we'll play a little bit of uh, Zombie Side. I don't know. Maybe we'll play a little bit of uh, Munchkin. Yeah, we'll definitely play Munchkin. And then uh, we'll definitely be playing uh, Camel Up. Uh, and there'll probably be a Catan being played at the same time. And if you feel like uh, there's a board game that you want to share people, we have no problem with you bringing your own board game in and kind of showing it off to other people. So that should be a really cool event. Uh, then we also have on the uh, August 13th, we have a sealed event for Magic. Ooh. More information on that to come. And then uh, August uh, 27th, we have the $5 draft. And that is just a bit make people get aware of what draft is. It's only $5 to get in. It should be a lot of fun. It lasts about uh, four to five hours. Uh, and that will be a wrap. That is everything that we have to say. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.